days Your kisses make my skin feel weak I'm always melting in your heat That I saw like a bird in the wind And we're live. It's Thursday, February 9th, just after 2 p.m. And I'm excited to be working on this build lab. We are going to be working on Bulwark Headshot builds. That's right, Bulwark Headshot builds, which are some of my favorite builds in the Division 2. We're talking super tanky and super fast time to kills, as in one shot, one kill, or very close to that. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Let's get into it. What's up, banditos? And we're live. All right, so we're going to be doing some headshot bulwark builds, full tank. That's right. So we're going to be super tanky. And so this is a continuation from this morning's video that I dropped, which are the four juggernauts. So if you haven't seen that build, I have posted the build in the chat. Just scroll up and it's the link is there waiting for you. And I appreciate your support on that video. If you haven't already seen it, give it a like, maybe a comment. And I would love you for that forever. Anyway, so yeah, we did the Juggernaut build series, but we in that Juggernaut build series, the four Juggernauts, we were relying on our primary weapon, which means we had to omit the bulwark. And the bulwark, with the amount of armor we're running, can really be indestructible in this game. So the thing is, is like, I gotta let you know, like, 
I'm a big fan of Fast Time to Kill. You know what I'm saying? A big fan of Fast Time to Kill. And so, and so loading on a lot of armor or Juggernaut builds can sound very, you know, a, like a contradiction to that. And so what we're gonna do is make these super strong while being super tanky and you can get the balance just right, especially for solo PVE content. It's a really exhilarating and fun way to play. And there's quite a few of these builds. I got at least four lined up for us, all very unique offering unique benefits. But some of the things that we're gonna have consistent across all four of the builds is relatively high armor or tankiness that can come in different ways. Sometimes the tankiness can come in bonus armor. Sometimes it can come in base armor. Sometimes it can be just the shield being really tanky with status effects or something like that, or very fast time to kill. You know, so we're gonna work through all of these builds and come up with some really cool bulwark ones. But what's up, everybody? What's up, man, boy, Reaper, Hungry? What's going on, boys? The instant death has joined us. What's going on, brother? Grumps, Grumps, what up, brother? And let's see, we got Drive You Mad in the house as well. What's going on, Drive? Appreciate you, first time chat. Juhani, Jaunty, what's up, man? Squad, squaddy boy, Mr. Mambo. All right, we got everybody, Blue, even Blue and Sick Jim. Of course, Sick Jim, he's the first. He's a man first in line. Hey, quick heads up, so I have a completely new system. So this is the first time I am streaming on this new system. So I apologize in advance if any unexpected bugs jump into the stream with us. So, you know, like the Division 2 developers. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what up, Denmark? Appreciate your nice words. So, um, yeah, so bear with me. I, everything should be smooth, but you know, I had a delay start because something, one of my drivers wasn't correct. So everything's brand new. Like literally, I just unboxed this new computer today. So, and then of course we got new capture cards. Everything's new. I'm feeling nice and shiny, banditos. So what up, Papa Smurf? Okay, uh, so obviously, well, not obviously, but many of you may have heard, but if you haven't, uh, there's kind of some bummer news. So accordingly, or apparently the bug that was introduced uh, a couple of days ago was from an update they were trying to uh, to push. And it kind of screwed up really a core system that's required to update the game. And so they're, they've destroyed that system and it has to be rebuilt from the ground up. Now, apparently over the 90, last 96 hours, they've made some progress um, on redeveloping that system but they're not quite finished and they we don't have a new timeline yet but they are apparently working on it so wow right <laughs> so um who knows right days a week i don't know but hopefully sooner than later but hey guys you know there are workarounds if you just think about it it's actually not the end of the world it's it's kind of annoying but there's still lots of gameplay it's a we got a big world you got to remember that and so you know really it's it's i think it's mostly affected like for the most part it's affecting the open world situations but you know the missions are still you can still grab at those missions and you know the legendaries right all the legendaries are pretty much available for the most part or at least the ones at least on the washington dc map and i haven't checked anything on the peripherals just because the map the map is where the glitches are happening for the most part so anyways we'll get into a little bit of that see we'll, we'll test we'll test the limits of the bugs that are out there but really disappointing i know but the devs are also planning on compensating us in game for the inconvenience and they don't know what that is yet so look out for said compensation news as well as uh, a timeline on when the bugs are fixed but i encourage you guys just to explore the other content that is working as far as i know all the main missions are working in at least the um legendaries that are in washington dc directly so yeah <laughs> yeah so okay let's get into it. you guys ready are you guys ready yeah denmark i do have raid build a uh, raid build video uh that covers all the raid builds basic raid builds they're basically safe raid builds uh, i'll drop you the link right here because you know different communities have different guidelines on what they want people to run so these ones will just kind of pass most communities uh requirements so here here, here comes the basic raid builds video for you there but uh 
pretty straightforward builds, nothing too crazy. Um, and the reason why is because I realized, you know, I, I want to do you guys a service, even though I don't agree with a lot of the constraints on raid builds, um, the sort of outdated. I do think that, um, you know, I don't want to stick in a situation where, you know, you go in there with a super off meta build and it, you get kicked out of the raid. Uh, and that's really frustrating. So those builds are just kind of, you know, they'll pass, they'll pass. Okay, so let's get into this. Okay, so sidearms, 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 sidearms. So in that Juggernaut uh, build video, I mentioned that we, we're avoiding bulwarks because they restrict you to sidearms. In this video, we are going to be focusing on sidearms, and you're going to love these build videos. It's a really, I mean, you're going to love these builds. It's a really going to make good use out of some cool sidearms. The one we're going to work on um, to start is the backup boom stick, backup boom stick, which is it is a sidearm, but it's a shotgun. It's not a pistol. And look at that base weapon damage on it. 1.4 million with a 200 RPM. So it's like wham wham. It's like hitting them in the face with two sticks of dynamite. You know, uh, of course, lots of reloading though, because there's only two mags. Um, and then I got a couple of them. I got close and personal on this one. I'm not sure if I want to run close and personal on this one. I do have another one. I don't have perfect backup boom sticks. These are named items. Uh, you have to get them from named item caches. I think these are uh dark zone exclusive or pvp exclusive one or the other but either way name item caches is an easy way to get it um and i have two of these and so this one's got pummel that could be helpful too and so uh we'll roll with this one or we'll go with this one but i they, they're not the best versions but we'll just kind of make do we'll also be working on liberty and regulus builds today and maybe the d50 if we get to that one but uh not really the busy b because that requires us to switch to a primary weapon so we're going to be avoiding that and so some of these won't be super super obvious builds and so they're definitely going to go outside of the box so that we can get into the fun area <laughs> of these builds all right so we're starting with hunter's fury because it's actually the hunter's fury version is like i mean i'm gonna make a twist on it so keep that in mind but really it's it's almost the meta and when i say that like i i, I don't throw that word meta on around here i don't even like the word meta to be honest with you i don't i hate the word meta kind of makes me shiver a little bit but the hunter's fury one is the reason why I, I, if I was to say something, if I was to call a build meta, this is one of them. And the reason why is because, I mean, this build does it all, man. I'm talking solo heroic, uh, open world, uh, uh, solo legendaries, speed run legendaries. I mean, in full group. I mean, you could do anything with this build. And we're gonna have some fun with it. I'm gonna make a, a twist on it, okay? Because we're gonna be using the sidearm. But the build, the, the mechanics of the build, the way it all works, the way I'm even gonna put it together, uh, for the most part, is going to be uh, like a play off of the meta version. So with only a couple of, of quick tweaks to it. Okay, so every build is gonna be using the sidearm. And every build is going to be using the bulwark shield okay and so i i gotta admit i'm not a big shield guy i'm not but i use them depending on the build and if it just kind of logically makes sense right and so but with these builds we're not going to just be walking around with the bulwark shield like you know some crazy like a tank like a tank player a tank role would use the bulwark shield no it's mostly going to be we're going to be playing shieldless as much as we can depending on the build we're going to be playing shieldless as much as we can and only use the shield when we got like massive groups or when we need to get that first kill to like stagger a group or get some bonus armor or something like that but it's going to be almost indestructible i mean look at the base health on it right now i mean that's eight million without me even doing anything we don't have a build together yet i just have a bunch of things slapped together so anyways but all of these are going to be using the bulwark shield that is the point okay the point is sidearm undestructible bulwark shield sidearm undestructible bulwark shield that's the point everything else will be a variable all the builds will be a variable but the shield is always going to be there and this is always going to be a sidearm between all of these builds we're going to have at least four of them so let's get to it okay so hunter's fury we're gonna need four pieces of hunter's fury what's unique about hunter's fury if you're new to the game it's gonna have shotgun damage we're using that shotgun sidearm but just so you know any other pistol will work with this you do not 
have to use a backup boomstick for this build to work. You could use the Regulus, and the Regulus is king with this build. Probably the best Regulus build is a Hunter's Fury Regulus build, okay? But you can also use the Liberty, you can use the D50, or any of your favorite pistols, just so you know. And so three pieces gives us 20% armor on kill. There's part of the survivability equation. And then Apex Predator gives us amplified damage just for standing close to an enemy. That's 15 meters. And then we stack five by five amplified damage on top of that. That's our chain killing. And so that's what we're going to be doing with this these builds, putting out the least amount of shots as we can to, to maintain a chain kill, you know, whatever chain chain killing whatever whatever the next word in that sentence is chain killing fun chain killing destruction whatever you know what i mean so anyways there's that and then um mostly we're gonna be running this on the ancillary pieces and then we're gonna power up with headhunter this will be a common theme headhunter is gonna juice us up a lot and then the backpack we're gonna try different things and so opportunistic because of a shotgun is really nice to run back here and so perfect opportunistic but at the same time if we're trying to kill things with one shot you know, uh, the opportunistic isn't necessarily the best thing. This is more of a two shot or more backpack or in team for team play. Um, so the memento is going to always add tons of survivability for these types of builds because of the bonus armor thing. Um, but we'll be looking at different things. We're going to try different things. And so there's also bloodsucker, of course. And, you know, we play into what we're going to need in each build. We'll have different requirements. And so I am running the Badger Tough Shotgun, uh, Badger Tough chest piece so that we can get more shotgun damage and make that shotgun very powerful. And what we're going to do is we're going to load up on armor. Now, you can run crits on this build, but the reality is, is that I'm going to be going for all headshots. And so you can still run with crits, but in order to get the most out of this head, this headhunter chest piece, we need that 150% headshot damage to get to get this cap to go really high and so that's that's hard to do and so we really want to make sure we roll into that so let's start doing that let's go grab our head shot hunter's fury pieces and load those on let's see and then we're going to try to uh, put arm as much armor as we can on this build so we'll pull that one in and then we'll pull that one in In. now the shotgun aside all right the um the backup boom stick aside like if there was one build well if i had like you know how we got these loadouts let's just say like somebody said hey you got your 12 loadouts if phil or oh, how many do we have now 16 i guess we have 16 so we have 16 loadouts you know so fill your loadouts with 16 builds and you can never ever use another build again <laughs> okay so if that was a rule you have 16 builds and never can ever make another build again this build would be one of these 16 builds way at the top too it'd be like like top top five builds for sure maybe even top three okay and but the way i would uh, prefer to run it would be with the regulus the regulus makes this the ultimate build but i'm not gonna go straight for the regulus because i know a lot of you guys don't have it i know a lot of you don't have the regulus so we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that for a minute so let's put on hunter's fury headshot uh hunter's fury headshot hunter's fury headshot cool and so that allows me to power up um because i don't have to run crit chance since i'm going to be going for 100 headshots anyways and so where are we at on our headshot damage we're at 125 so we're going to need those uh, mods but before we do that let's um let's change those cores if you have a hard time getting uh 250 uh, percent headshot damage um mods will help do that effect but if you have a hard time doing it run providence run providence it's worth getting to 150 percent because that damage is transferred what it's doing is affecting the damage transfer we're going to start with max armor but we'll balance it out depending because remember a lot of our tankiness is going to come from the shield so we don't have to be at max armor, but we want really high armor to be 
part of that juggernaut equation okay so let's load on some headshot damage here let's see if we can get to that 150 we had 125 so it's gonna be really close that one already has it actually we're gonna be 135 okay let's see it's the oh wait we need to check the shotgun okay yeah so the shotgun's at 135 headshot damage a little low a little low and so that'll push it to 145 right there so where are we missing headshot damage we might have to go providence on this one yeah oh the backpack uh mod but i mean um so we don't have any mods on this so that's the problem right that's a problem let's see let's look at we're looking at backpacks now um I should have a badger backpack. I might want to move to the badger backpack like that. Yeah, like that. And then move to a Providence chest. We'll start with that. Because we really, like I said, we really want to get that headshot damage over to over 150. Where is that Providence chest of mine? Please be here. Please be here. Please don't make me go to another character to get it. Oh, it's going to make me do that. Providence, 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 where are you? Well, actually, if we put this um, badger on real quick, let me just do that. We're not going to need the Providence, but I'm thinking about the Providence for in case I decide to go Memento, which there's a good chance that's going to happen. Um, which one can go armor? That one. All right. So now we're at uh, 145, 145, and then we have a mod open. So that'll get us over the 150 mark. And then I guess we'll go ahead and put armor on that. Let's start out with just max armor and see if we got the power we're looking for. Sometimes like I, I, I think from my past experience, I remember like 1.7 million armor is the sweet spot. So like one red core is the sweet spot, but we'll start with this because the look at the base is 1.1 now. I mean, so we're still pretty strong. Okay, and then let's, we're gonna, I'm gonna put, um, oops. I'm gonna put Vigilance on the backpack. And that's because uh, we're gonna have the Bulwark Shield to protect us. And then um, we got 20% armor on kill. So that's where our survivability is coming from, as well as the one, one two shot capability. And then um, we also have that stagger effect, right? So the stagger effect. And then I'm running, notice I'm running uh, technician. And so the reason why is because I'm going to run actually riot foam with this thing. So let's put the riot foam on. And so I found that with one shot kill builds, you don't need any status effects, whatever the, the default riot foam ensnare duration is, in our case, 7.2 seconds is is perfect and so that will basically help you with crowd control also stop the enemies from doing those stupid acrobats right which are really annoying when they're sitting there bouncing all over the place and that causes you to reload and it's just like oh somebody shoot me in the head <laughs> you know what i mean like fuck okay uh so shield health good for this one we got what we got more shield health uh probably take active regen and then damage bonus brand is fine so we're at 13.4 million shield i mean that's pretty damn strong you know 
what are you going to do, right? And we got the right foam as well. As long as we're killing enemies fast enough, that shield will be indestructible. But if we feel like we want rather, if you rather play into the shield more, then you can run the Artificer Hive and really make it indestructible. But let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Um... Uh, we're gonna can we catch that it's gonna disappear by the time I get there but let's fast travel down here anyways yeah I appreciate everybody's support on this morning's video it's doing pretty good out there getting some traction had a lot of fun making it actually really enjoyed the juggernaut builds for some reason like i'm just really enjoying these high armor builds right now like i'm like, sort of on a kick tons of fun um and there's a few builds that we're going to tap into today that are some of my some of my go-to's long-term go-to's did i miss it i did so close all right. So we're doing a damage value check here too. Now, you know, so we want to see, we want to, the first one or two kills might be a pain in the ass, but from there we want to be able to maintain uh, one shot, one kill capabilities. And so what we're doing is seeing if this build um, can do that with the amount of armor we have right now. And then the second thing is to see, we're going to be checking in on which backpack ultimately we want to run. Yeah, I think probably what will come out of this uh, video, Rich, is, is another series just like that, you know, Bulwark Bullies. That's what we'll call this one. Okay, so just under on the Nun Elite. Good to know. Oops. Sorry, I gotta get acquainted here. It's been a while since I've used a pistol only build. Yep, one shot, one kill. It gets the job done. That was an Elite. You just gotta line up. Just make sure you line up. <laughs> it's a fun guys it is because it's just like you know i mean i think i'd have fun more fun with some bonus armor but i'm giving this a whirl because i know some of you guys are tired of seeing the the memento you could also run i mean guys we're running so much armor it's crazy right it's insane how much armor we're running right now and to be able to one shot one kill with the with the fucking backup boom stick is pretty cool. Get off of me. So you know what it means? Like so with the if we decide to run um the memento, we'd have that underlining regen, and that'd be nice, right? <laughs> we gotta admit, this build looks fun, right? Looks fun. Aww. No, King, they basically put that on hold. They put that specialization thing on hold, so we don't know what's up. Magesh from India! Right on, Magesh. Keep it up, man. We need more people from India represent. Oh, really? Oh, really? He's gonna. All right, let's kill ourselves. Let's kill ourselves. Agent 
That guy can't get his job done, man. That's all I need you guys to do. Do your job. Yeah, no, it's it's what it's doing is it looks like it's slug, but it's not, right? They are they are pellets, but what happens, okay, is that we got um there's a hidden passive attribute inside headhunter it's not written anywhere it's only experience that's going to show you and what that is is um basically after your first kill it boosts your weapon handling making every kill afterwards easier from a weapon handling perspective now they they're not tapping in to uh your controller to do that because i have disabled aim and s aim assist so they can't they can't do that because i hate when they do that and they do do that in this game um but what they do is they do it from a weapon handling perspective so basically they're tightening that spread so yeah it does look like a slug but it is a pellet and so because they've tightened up the weapon handling the pellets kind of got a more narrow beam, which allows you to peg these guys in the head from farther out. But what's also cool about these builds is they're great for all directives. We'll show you that a little later. We'll turn on, well, we can't. We can't do that actually. No directives right now. But they're great for all directives uh, because you got unlimited ammo. And some of these do really well, even with um, even without the shield. But that's the one thing you'll want is you you don't want the skill cooldowns. All right, let's go back to the White House, shall we? That one works. <laughs> that's a good build. Good build. I mean, it's just Hunter's Fury, right? That's why Hunter's Fury is king. Hunter's Fury is king. But I can tell you what we're missing is the armor regen. The 20% armor on kill is just not enough. Even though we're one-shotting everything. It's just that uh, we're bullet magnet running around out of cover like that. And they're just kind of tapping us a lot, making it difficult to... Uh, get as many kills as we need to get back to 100% armor without having some sort of armor regen there. And so I do want to try this um, with the memento. I think it would be the better way to go because it's going to give us the damage like Vigilance. It's going to give us 30%, but they won't be able to disable it because of the memento. And then we're also going to get the bonus armor on kill for 10 seconds. So that's going to make us extremely tanky. All right. And so we're playing out of cover. You know, I, I do. I, so that's why I wanted to show you guys what it looks like to not run a memento. <laughs> okay. And so, uh, but if we just went out ahead and put on um, like Bloodsucker or adrenaline rush that's great we're gonna get the bonus armor but what we're not gonna have is the weapon damage bonus and the memento is also gonna give us a skill tier which is gonna power up that riot foam as well so there's more benefits to the memento for this build you know what i mean so don't avoid the memento just for the sake of oh i see the memento on a lot of builds there's a reason why it's on a lot of builds and the reason one of the biggest reasons is because we want to get out of cover we do. We want to get out of cover, and the memento does a good job there. Okay, but before we put on the memento, let's take a, a jog over my other character and pick up uh, a chess piece that we're going to need. Noel, what's up, man? Noel Viega Cutino. Cutino. Is that Portuguese? Is your name Portuguese? Yeah, Noel, and I have I have done pistol uh, Umbra builds, and you can't go that way. I'm probably not going to do that today because I got quite a few builds to go, go through. But the, yes, absolutely. 
the Umbra Initiative gives you that 30% reload speed, which is really helpful on shotguns. We don't really need the RPM, but it's a little helpful. And then, of course, it gives you that crit damage, so we would have to turn it into a crit build, which is not a problem. You can make any of these crit builds if you want to. But we need the headshot damage uh, threshold, so that's why we're going that way. We need that 150%. So, um, so what I'm looking for here is a Providence chess piece to balance out... uh let's see providence but i'm looking at these two just in case yeah so there's a providence so that the providence is give us 15 percent headshot damage so uh that's going to help us maintain our our 150 threshold when we get rid of that backpack for the memento yeah anyway so umber is nice for the regen and i and i've used it just for the regen you can do that guys like I've made sniper builds, crit sniper builds uh, with the Umber build just for the regen, you know? Cause you only have to be out of cover for five seconds. So it's sort of like kind of run and gun sniper builds. I can't remember which gun that I used with that. It might've been the 1886 actually. Yeah, Constantinos, you figured it out, bro. You figured it out. Meaning like groups, people somewhere a long time ago, people said, somebody said, uh, what up matchmaking? Somebody said that like memento is, is not good for groups. And this is like, well, shit, I guess if you're, if you're not good at killing things, then it's like, what are you even doing in groups? You need to go get some practice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go back to the testing range and land some shots. You know what I mean? Because fuck man, I have no problem getting my full trophies in group play. You know what I mean? And full trophy, you don't even need full trophies. Even if you had half trophies, you know what I mean? That's enough power. That's more power than composure. And you don't have to be in cover and they can't disable it. And you're getting regen and you're getting bonus armor and you're getting skill efficiency and you got three cores. You know what I mean? So even if you never got a trophy again for 300 seconds, you know what I mean? Even and you only got half of your trophies, you're still better than composure. And probably, you know, I mean, vigilance gets disabled, and that, that's the downside about vigilance. And if you really look at uh, some of your legendary gameplay, you know, depending on how you play in your squad, I don't know. Anyways, I always talk, oh, you guys already know my spiel about <laughs> the uh, memento, so we go into that often. Okay, so uh, let's let's add some survivability. So watch our armor, okay? So we're at, let's look exactly where our armor is, okay? So we're at 1.8, and we got 20% armor on kill, but no regen, okay? 1.8. So now, and we have no red cores. So we're about to pick up a red core, 15% weapon damage, plus 30% weapon damage. Which is more, right? 15% weapon damage plus 30% weapon damage, Okay baseline weapon damage or 25% total weapon damage which is more it's going to be the weapon damage 45% weapon damage okay without ever picking up any other trophy so I'm just saying like you get your full stacks and you got your red core that's 45% weapon damage that's going to outperform vigilance and vigilance gets disabled so that's why we go this way okay so let's put on some headshot damage here and I'm also looking for that. I'm really actually, it's not the damage I'm looking for. We were fine with damage, okay? We were one-shotting everything. And so what I'm looking for here is the bonus armor and the regen to go along with the armor on kill. It's going to give us a ton more survivability. But we also picked up the 30% skill efficiency and the extra skill tier. So that's giving us more riot foam, and it will improve the duration of that riot foam as well as the skill haste on this riot foam. So, and then, you know, we're still at a tier 6 shield. It's still as strong as it can get, basically. Uh, but we will, let's see here. I, let's look at our headshot damage now. We should be shy oh, by only 5%. Isn't that suck? But there's good news behind this, okay? So if we switch this over to Providence, let's do that now. That's going to open up. Oh, wait. Did I already pull it over? It's going to open up a, a mod slot, okay? So here we go. There's our Providence. So where are we at now? 150 exactly. Now we got that extra mod slot. We don't need 160. I mean, we can, but why not put on some protection from elites? 
and that's going to protect our regular armor also our bonus armor you know and it's not a lot but it will make a difference it's 13 percent more so okay let's go let's go see where we're going to fight for this where we're we going to fight so actually let's go to this side of the world these guys are a pain in my ass they got lawnmowers and they catch them on fire but yeah reaper yeah no there's just so many people in the community they need brainwashing man they need to be like there's this i mean there's still people out there that say that man you know what i mean that don't put that don't they're not running the memento on on a lot of builds because they don't think it's a good a group you know and that's insane that's the reasoning oh i'm playing a group. memento's not good in group but like what <laughs> it's amazing in group it's amazing but if you're really bad at killing things then yeah it's gonna be bad for you in group because you can't you're not good at killing you know but we've we've tested this and um i mean we've used the mementos even in speed runs in our speed runs and we're not professional speed runners or anything like that but we're casual speed runners but you know we get our 17 18 minutes with the memento doing legendaries that's respectable okay so we might be a little bit underpowered on the first couple of kills you know um so we might need a trophy or two because we get an immediate drop of 25 percent weapon damage so keep that in mind start off a little a little weaker um i'm actually i'm not gonna pull that flag I'm not completing my control points as a way to work around. Uh... Alright, so there's our bonus armor. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple of trophies. There we go. There we go. We're one shotting. <laughs> and now we got that bonus armor right so it's gonna be our savior and so we could drop our shield a little bit and use that bonus armor you see what i'm saying so the bonus armor is allowing us to move faster now That was a bad shot. She's too close to me. Yeah, sometimes you can clip the head. You know what I mean? They don't give you the full credit if you get like half pellets. So that's how you do really want to square up on them. So I'm not going to kill that boss on purpose, so, so you know. That allows me to play the control point again later. There it is, folks. So we kill that boss if we want to, but we're going to move on. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, you know what? We didn't even check to see if we had shotguns uh, scheduled in our specialization. Let's go do that. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, in Tico, um, I think a lot of people are bringing their own survivability to the game, right? And like, like Hunter's Fury gives you 20% armor on kill. It brings your own survivability to the game so that somebody doesn't have to 
pick you up and you're dealing enough damage to be a contributor to the team. And I prefer that. I prefer that. Like, if I had my way, like, I don't want somebody to come in and be, like, when I, on my squad, like, I don't really need a tank. I don't want a tank. I don't want, you know, I don't need ongoing directive. I don't want ongoing directive. You know what I mean? I'd rather somebody come in and bring enough damage to do their job. That's what I want. I want people to do their job. I can really give a, a rat's ass on, you know, any extra heals or like, hey, you know, take one for the team. You know, it's just like taking one for the team for me is doing your effing job. That's what I want you to do is be good at the game. That's it. Just be good at the game. You know what I mean? And so you, I don't need a tank build. I don't need a healer build. Actually, it kind of like, um, I don't want to say upsets me, but it's just like I would just really rather not rather not have those builds on my squad when I'm playing like a legendary, a tough legendary. I want people that can kill and do a good job killing, and that's fine. And I don't care if they run a skill build, I don't care if they run a DPS build or some hybrid in between thing. You know what I mean? It's it really doesn't matter. Just need them to do their job, but like. You know, some people think, I mean, there's an old school thinking that like, oh, you know, we need to um, let me decrease my damage potential to increase my team's damage potential. But I'm dying all the time and they have to come over here and pick me up. It's just like, OK, <laughs> you know. OK. Now, raids are a little bit different. You know, eight man squads are a little bit different, but it's still the same thing. Everybody needs to just do their job. I don't, you don't need to be more powerful. You need to be effective. You need to be able to do your job. That's the thing. There is such a thing as too much power in this game. And so why? So if everybody's too powerful, but they're always laying on their back dead, like that's that's not effective gameplay. Let's get these guys. I mean, that's all oh, we're about to die here. I'm gonna burn. Oh. Yeah, that fire sucks. Gotta watch out for those dudes. I hate they get to run all the way or back. Like when we get our like 17 minute legendary, with our 17 minute legendary builds, like on that last one, I was running, um, I was running technician on a striker. You know, with Spotter and Kingbreaker, I wasn't I wasn't buffing my team at all, and my team wasn't buffing me either. You know, everybody was every man for himself, but because we were a, a because we do our job, because I go right, he goes left, I cover my sector, he covers his sector, and we kill effectively and take down target priorities. We didn't need we don't need you know additional damage uh amplified damage or additional damage to targets out of cover or whatever i mean crutches crutches and there are some cases of course where you're playing extreme content where you're going to need that stuff i would agree with that too what i mean by extreme content is like if you're trying to break a world record for like fastest clear in the world then goddamn the fucking guy again the same fucking thing i don't want to fight those guys <laughs> they're annoying yeah most people i think a lot of people were um uh you know don't really understand the fundamentals of the of the game you know that there's a baseline damage and you just need to meet that you just need to meet that and any additional time to kill is negligible and a lot of people don't realize that and i think fog of war's video that he just put out like a couple of days ago 
does the best job. And I think that will really help you understand. Look up Fog of War's latest video. Really help you understand damage in this game. You just, you need that effective damage. But like, I got to tell you, you know, 1.1 second time to kill and 1.005 second time to kill is the same. It's the same. It's half a bullet difference. It's a random RNG on a crit. And that's the same thing with those team buffs. They're improving your time to kill from 1.1 second to 1.0006 seconds. And you think that you can detect that, but you can't. You're fooling yourself if you think you can feel that difference. And that's why you can have builds that have, that have a difference of 2 million in DPS, a 2 million DPS difference. And the time to kill in game is undetectable in difference. Isn't that crazy? It's not about DPS. It's not about damage. It's about time to kill. It's about how many can I kill an enemy with this in a single mag? How many enemies can I kill in a single mag? And is all of that damage from a team buff gonna help that? My, my rifle is better than yours, dude. Yeah. But yeah, so guys, if you really want to get good into Division 2, you really got to start evolving your thinking beyond the fun, the basics, you know? Really got to start thinking about your damage a little bit differently. And I got to tell you, the biggest, the biggest advice I can give to any new player out there or experienced player is just get good at the game. <laughs> get good at the game. Somebody's going to tell you that this assault rifle is better than this or that this team loadout is better than that. It did. It really doesn't make a difference unless you're not good at the game. But at the same time, I've never seen a build really make a player good. I've never seen a, a build take a bad player and turn that bad player into a good player. I've never seen that build. And if you know what that build is, then let us all know because, you know, we'll start prescribing it to people. But some people think it's the meta, the uh, contractor's gloves with the fox's prayers, but... I've seen a lot of new players use that build and they're required to use that build and unfortunately they don't it doesn't fix the their performance. Alright, so that's a boss. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna keep him alive. Fortunately, because of the bugs. Yeah, skill builds are really helpful for new players. I gotta say, like I was just talking to somebody, I think last night actually, and somebody was doing that same thing. They were formulating the squad. Um, they were doing, they were gonna do a legendary and they formulated kind of like the squad role requirements. They were like, they were like, I'll be the tank they're going to be the healer and uh they were asking one of those other players to be the dps and that player they were asking to be the dps is sort of new well really new at the game i would say you know really new at the game where they're not confident they weren't confident with their dps abilities and that person asked hey can i just be a skill build and they were like no you need to be a dps build you know and that person had a really hard time fulfilling their role on that squad because they were new and they were taking a lot of damage and they weren't able to uh, take out their critical targets fast enough. And so they were on their back a lot and they were more comfortable playing as a skill player. And so skills do do a ton 
for um, new players because they pull that aggro off of you. Skills are very powerful that way. They pull aggro off of you, and that alone helps. <laughs> it allows them to hide, play from cover more, and this is a cover due to shooter, so it's a good thing to do that. Not the wrong play for cover. As we're not demonstrating here today. So, but I do think like the one and only team support build that is basically critical and really does what it's supposed to do is crowd control builds. It's basically status effects, right? That is the one build that makes legendary go the way it needs to fast. And so I really rather have a, um, like an eclipse protocol build or something like that than a tank or a healer. Because it doesn't just stop the enemies from shooting at you, but it also, um, it also holds them still so you kill them faster. Bust his backpack. Oh, well, let's not kill him. We don't want to kill him. Yeah, and so that's the one, like, I really say, I mean, because, like, if you even look at it for speed run, look at speed runs, right? Speed run. Anybody. If you don't even want to look at our speed runs, don't look at, you know, uh, the people that's all they do is speed run. Um, that's the one team build that's there. None of the other ones, nobody else is running a team build, right? Everybody's up running DPS builds. And then the one, the one, there's always one guy playing that team build. Um, and that team build is usually a status effect build. And then they also have, um, they also have, what do you call it? Um, overcharge capabilities. Those are the two things that they, they incorporate. Uh, yeah. But bonus armor is nice. I do like when somebody gives me bonus armor too. I do got to say that. But that's sort of the thing. So the interesting thing with heals, one of the things I don't like about healer builds is just that, you know, you got people out there with like Heartbreaker now, and you got people out there with um, maybe they're running the Memento, they got the Regen or Hunter's Fury or Umbra Initiative. And, and so the, the devs have brought in so much survivability. I feel like healer builds are, first of all, they're reactive, which doesn't um, improve the uh, player's confidence. Right now they play because it's reactive where bonus armor does improve player confidence. So Vanguard is really nice or galvanized or something like that. Um, so, yeah, so I feel like, yeah, healer builds are almost dated, you know. I mean, they're good for raids. I can see that, but like, you know, do you see here's like in countdown? Like, do you see any healer builds in countdown? There's not really any, right? Everybody goes in with their heartbreaker or hunter's fury and they have their own level of survivability now which is a good thing i think that's great you know because then that opens up uh more contribution from the team okay we're gonna change it up in just a second here we kill these guys real quick <laughs> crazy though right crazy easy everything easy with this but you know what do we got to say i mean like 
Yeah, yeah, I would like, I think the healer build would need to be a buff, but you know what would be really cool? Is if the healer build uh, contributed more than just heals. Like what if it was heal? like what if it was a hybrid heals plus bonus armor plus damage? What if it was like all three? Because bonus armor is so much more helpful than heals, you know? It turns your DPS guys that are running around with 750 million armor into 2 million armor tanks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you got a guy giving you like maximum Vanguard, the DPS player turns into a 2 million armor tank. You know, I love that. I love bonus armor in this game. Did I miss a mod? I think I got them all. Either way, let's uh, let's change this real quick. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you real quickly how OP this is with the Regulus. You could also use the Liberty. All right, so this build destroys with the regulus. Now, the one thing I would change is, so now I put on this 20% pistol damage instead. So I'm just changing that. And then where are we with our headshot damage? So that we should probably be really high. Look at 200% headshot damage. 200. That's because pistols bring in all that extra headshot damage, right? In exchange, you're missing an attribute. All right. So, but pistols bring in a lot of headshot damage, and of course, the regulus blows shit up, which is serious. Serious, very serious. We're very serious with that. So, if you guys haven't seen, uh, speaking of Fog of War, because I mentioned him earlier, like his latest video, guys, is gotta be one of the most important videos in the Division 2. Let me grab a link for him. Uh, Fog of War. I think it's one of the most important videos in the Division 2. Uh, it's called The Burst Bubble. Have you guys seen this one yet? So let me uh, share. Let me grab this link. And I just think he nailed it. You know, I think he nailed it. And so we talk about this, this topic a lot. And it's really, it's about undetectable differences in damage. That's basically the theme of what he's going into, you know. And he, and he does a comparison in some assault rifle builds. But yeah, so un, undetectable differences in damage is what that's theming. So because we got this uh, extra damage coming in to the head, we can put on a little bit more protection from elites now. So I'm going to load up a little bit more and that's going to allow us to go a little bit, uh, move a little bit faster, more shieldless. This is one of my favorite builds in the game where you're about to see. Okay. So it's crazy. And so we're still running technician because we want the, uh, the stronger riot foam. Yeah, he's new. He's a small, he's a small new channel. So if you haven't heard of him, um, he pops in here. He pops him in here from time to time, so. Yeah, we're on the same page. Reaper, we'll, we should run. Why don't I get through all these build videos? If you're on, we should jump in together and just go crush some shit. It's fun to run these builds like in a, in a dynamic duo or as a team, by the way, the regular builds. And uh, because like to take on a Warhound convoy and just be blowing everybody up and pretty fun, pretty fun. So where's our base damage? Let's take a look. 660. So it's not as strong as that shotgun. So let's see if we can um, pick up that one shot kill capability off of our first kill. Oh, we still have mementos, so that's good. Yeah, I miss resetting my map. <laughs> I can't kill a boss right now. I'm not killing bosses. Look at that. We just lost all of our trophies. That's bullshit. All of them, right? Like, 
<laughs> That's all right. What's up, bro? One killer now. And of course, when we get the spawn kill, that's that's really what this one is going to do for you more. Is add some spawn killing capabilities. It technically makes the next headshot easier because because uh, you're you're damaging, you're doing collateral damage, and so because of that, the the other guys are weaker, so they require less damage to kill. So you can also exchange some of your blue cores for more um, riot foam. So you have that more at the ready too. Because riot foam is basically, basically defense also, right? So fun. Okay, I'm not going to kill the boss, though, because I want to be able to replay this. But so, yeah, we got stronger, right? We got stronger. We loaded on that protection from elite, so... Um, you know, we could take more damage to the back, to our blue armor. Blue armor will stay up longer. Who's she shooting at? Oh, that's weird. She was shooting somebody. What do you mean, Reaper? By like uh, matchmaking? I'm not sure I know what you mean. All right, I haven't actually tried this, so let's, um, let's see if this will kick off. I'm gonna have to activate it. I actually haven't played this on Heroic in years. Get in there and hunt them down. Every last one of them. Either way, you can still do missions, apparently. So, it's funny because I don't do heroic missions very often. But you can reset this as many, play these missions as many times as you want, and legendaries, of course.
Last time I did this was for that manhunt. I think that was what, season nine? I think there's a manhunt in here. Let's see what happens. I don't even know what's going on in this. Like, I don't even know how to play this. Oh, right on, Reaper. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Just keep them from doing that bullshit, right? Like, running backwards and shit. <laughs> Shooting sideways. Come on. We don't have to finish this. We'll just do a couple of, couple of quick kills. But what's incredible about this is that it really is that, I mean, we're running max armor, right? That's crazy. And protection from elites. And the point is, if you don't have the regulus. Then you got the shotgun. Let's switch out of the regulus now, okay? Let's use the Liberty. Now, you don't have explosions, but now what you're going to have is a larger mag and a, now a stronger shield, right? So yeah, because the that's what the uh, the gun does is heals your shield. And you can still one shot one kill things. Just do a few more kills with this. I just want to showcase that. You know, don't get stuck on the weapon because you know when I'm showing any of these builds, when I'm showing the regulus, you're like, oh I don't have the regulus though. You know, the build still works. Uh, you could even do the do the regular D50. Uh, which might even be better uh, for these builds than the Liberty. The Liberty's stronger and it's got a, a better RPM. She's got a helmet, so. more oh, look at that chunk of oh, we just glitched once you break his helmet he's gonna go down easy Yeah, only when you stack body shots. That's right, Super Dave. So, but look at the look at the talent. The, um, here we go. So it hits grant two percent weapon damage. Stacks up to thirty percent thirty times. Right, headshots consume those stacks, repairing your shield at three percent per stack. So basically, what happens is that inadvertently, every you're going to be landing body shots. You're aiming for the head full time, but come on, let me in. I don't want to sneak around. But you're accidentally hitting body shots. You know, we don't have perfect headshot accuracy, so. So you get micro changes to your shield. Yeah, it's not, not a big deal, but three, six percent changes from time to time. I feel like a newbie on this mission. So that's Liberty. Let me see if I have my D50. Okay, here's a D50. Now, D50 has got preservation. So now we're going to pick up an extra... Uh, Twenty percent armor on kill because we're getting headshot kills. Fucking...
So this is the D50. So I'm rolling with preservation. So now we got a total of 40% armor on kill. We get 20% with the headshot kill from this talent. Very good talent. Yeah, the bonus armor gives you a lot of confidence to drop that shield. And just run for it. <laughs> you know, it allows you to move a little bit faster in between kills. How did that not get you? Don't do that sideways walk on me. So with the rogue, I would switch guns back to uh, the Liberty. So we have a stronger shield. The explosions aren't going to be helpful for the rogue, even though the Regulus is the stronger of them all when it comes to base weapon damage. But this way, we can really rely on a strong shield. Really? Fuck, and the fire. Shock trap detected. Hostile Throw everything at us. I think he healed himself. That's annoying. Kind of boring, but <laughs> agent it worked. Okay, I think we've seen enough of this build. What do you guys say? Should we start on the next one? <laughs> I think we're good to go. So that's the pistol version. And of course we had the shotgun version too, which, and for that one, we had uh, the Providence chest piece for more headshot damage. But this one had really nice protection from elites. We had 39% protection from elites. We got the bonus armor. Oh, we had a red core on that. I didn't realize that. My bad. I needed to change that. Well, I don't have a blue core, Douglas and Harding. So either way, um, 1.7 million armor. That's where that one landed. Let's go back to the White House and let's work on the next one. Did we get everything? I think so. Yeah, pistols are really good in this game. They really are. All of them. <laughs> this is not really a bad pistol in this game. They come with that all that extra loaded headshot damage on them, which is really going to help. That's all. Now, I like the heavier duty one. So any of the revolvers, the D50, any of the exotics. Uh, and of course, the backup boomstick, those double those double barreled uh, shorter, shorty shotguns, sawed off shotguns do a really good job too but they all they all do um amazing damage and, and you can really play kind of like that john wick play style um so let's see let's go ahead and save this one for now uh, let's save over our heartbreaker let's rename that to um hf Okay, this next one we're gonna switch up here. Um, 
one of my favorites actually you guys will recognize it we're gonna go a very unusual gear set that you don't probably use you want to guess what that is you want to guess what the next one is going to be i haven't super that's a good one i like the idea okay let's see so yeah anybody guess what the next one's gonna be an unusual gear set Tip of Spear is one of the only, this is one of the few Tip of Spear builds that I run. Really like it. So let's activate this. And this will work with any of the uh, uh, sidearms as well. So you could go to the shotgun if you wanted to, pistols. Um, let's take that away and let's go shotgun just in case we decide to go that way. Um, and then this one does rely on attack 50. So uh, it, it's part of the build strategy. So that's what we have here. We're not using any of the primaries, so I'm just not going to worry about that. Um, let's go ahead and start with the Regulus, and then we'll, we'll cycle through all the weapons. I normally like to pair this up with the Regulus. So uh, tip of spear, boom. Tip of spear, boom. You can run the tip of spear backpack if you want to also. Um, but again, it's really nice to pick up that one trophy and get up the wazoo and bonus armor now with this one you do want to go uh chain killer so we can go chain killer here and that's because you want to power up you really want to power up the tac 50 and the tac 50 is going to transfer damage to your sidearm that's how this technically works so let's do that we'll just start off with headshot damage and then we'll decide to load on protection from elites if that's the way we want to go and then let's add more armor Powered up. Or let's power it down, really. Okay, so headshot damage. So on the sidearm, we're at 210, plenty. And then on the TAC 50, we're at 300, which is also plenty. So if you're not familiar with Tip of Spear, so it gives you 10% more damage to your signature weapon, then 10% more weapon damage, and then aggressive recon. So dealing damage with the signature weapon, in weapon increases total weapon damage by 20%. So 20% total weapon damage, kind of like Vigilance, right? For 60 seconds. So that means we've got to use our signature weapon once every 60 seconds, and it's going to automatically generate signature weapon ammo every 60 seconds but also signature weapon ammo will be dropping with providence we'll get uh attack 50 rounds with headshot kills so yeah we should have plenty of ammo and so the first shot with your attack 50 will be the activation shot the the second shot will be the kill shot so when you're starting out you want to, you're gonna have to take two shots to get that kill keep that in mind and then try to use your attack 50 before the 60 seconds runs out and then we'll use the same skills. Keep that's going to be pretty consistent. Yeah, I put handling attributes, uh, headshot damage and weapon handling. That's that's everywhere. So uh, the web, which on this setup I only have one weapon handling. Uh, you don't need weapon handling. I find doesn't really impact my pistols that much. And so when I do load on weapon handling, mostly it's for the faster reload. That's where I'm, what I'm really looking for because you're playing, you're running and gunning right with your pistol, so you want to get those reloads as absolutely fast as possible um but if you don't want to want if you didn't want weapon handling i would probably run i don't know you could go armor regen you can go whatever oops 
Okay. So you get to pull out the TAC-50. That's going to activate. Oops. The break through his helmet. See that green little tip of spear symbol there? So that's our clock. Damn you. See, that's how you want the right phone. Somebody shoot me in the back. So if I remember with this one, I think we're gonna need the, you gotta get a few trophies under your belt to consistently one shot everything to be able to chain kill with one shot. Uh, eight or so trophies. Serious trauma detected. There we go. Where'd she go? You're so annoying. Oh my god. You gotta admit that she's in, gotta be the one of the most annoying NPCs to fight. She is like the queen of cartwheels. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep not landing on the head. See, they put their gun up right when they ADS on you, and then you can hit them in the hand on accident. You know you get the head when they blow up, right? That's the big giveaway. See, that hit her hand, his hand, which is annoying. I need to reload. But you can't, because of the right foam, it does help you point blank a little bit. Can't kill the boss.
Contact nearby. So then we got four mementos. Let's see if this is enough. I think I might typically run this on uh, with one less armor core. We'll see here now that we got full trophies. But you want to be able to consistently chain kill those elites. And so if you have to drop one armor core to do that, then that's what you got to do. They're far away. There's no hiding from us. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh oh. This isn't going to be good for them, is it? <laughs> yeah, so you need to get your trophies up and then then you're you change killing and everything. So with this one, which tells you that it's not as strong as um, Hunter's Fury. It's also got a little less survivability, but fun nonetheless. How did that not one shot kill? Back then. You basically need to play within the confines of that fresh trophy. I think that's what'll make it consistent for you. Run, run. <laughs> I don't want to kill him, so. We're moving. We're moving. Ooh, Warhound. Yes. Yeah, so it plays out the same. Basically, what you're getting is a point blank TAC 50 addition to your build, which also means, you know, you got a little bit of range. And so if you wanted to use this one and cycle in additional weapons, that's also cool, too. You know what I mean? Like, um, like another sniper, like the White Death or something as a primary and then cycle between your pistol, the White Death and your TAC 50. Let's see how far is this guy out? Cut a ways. So let's do this first. We'll do this convoy and then we'll switch it up to the next one. Bleed out. It's nice. Destroyed 
detected. Near one location, targeted by hostiles. The right foam is my one of my favorite parts about this build. It's sort of like an inside thing. I mean, it's not a secret or anything like that, but a lot of people don't realize like the headshot builds plus riot foam because you don't need to add any status effects. No status effects is needed. Eight seconds is long enough to kill uh, with the headshot. You know what I mean? That's the default. Let's take a look at our ramp foam, actually. So 9.4 seconds with our trophies. That's plenty of time to get your kill. All right, so we're going to get this diggity dog. I like Warhound fights. If you notice in that video I posted this morning, the Juggernaut builds, all the fights were Warhound fights. <laughs> I tested every build against a Warhound. It's a really good test to build. Nothing but elites. They all come running out at you. You got to get them before they spread out. You know, good test to build. The, mo the most annoying part is uh, when you kill the Warhound and he disables your skills. So you want to try to get him at range. And that, that EMP pulse he throws out there is actually it's quite gruesome. Here they come. We're going to ambush him. Everybody quiet. The best way to do this is if we can squat, hit the squad with right foam. up because I forgot to use my attack 50. It's so fast I'm running out of that door, huh? He's alive. Bullshit. Gotta land those headshots, man. That sucked. <laughs> you got enough armor to pull out your TAC 50 without a shield. That feels good. Ah, this it again. You got a lot of forgiveness. That's what the foam is for and the big ass shield. So if you miss shots, you're not dead. <laughs> Another dead. There it is. We could have done better. There was that one headshot. I missed that one headshot and it made those last four guys scatter. They got away. Easy peasy. 
that one's easy peasy easy to pretty easy to build so we basically you're just looking for headshot damage everywhere um and then that way you can roll armor but you don't have to if you want to make it a little easier on yourself run one red core just one and that'll that'll make it uh your headshot chain killing uh, just a little bit more consistent so one red core but obviously it works with all six blues but you don't need all six blues it does give you massive bonus armor of course but you are chain killing so you're getting massive bonus armor anyways and taking away that blue core isn't going to weaken your shield because you got a blue core and a skill tier from that memento so it's technically a tier seven shield right now which doesn't really exist so my point is you can drop to a red one red core and the build not change anything defensively on the build however you will make your chain killing just a little bit more consistent uh, probably that's all you need that's 15 percent more damage and then you're adding and then you're stacking those trophies which are giving you uh would give you 10 percent more damage per trophy right because you got two red cores five percent per red core so you can have 15 plus 10 20 30 40 right so it'll stack so technically it's 15 25 35 45 55 on top of the 30 percent weapon damage off your backpack so pretty pretty cool pretty fun love this build of this build i've actually used the nemesis with it too it actually works that way let's um let's go ahead and save this one and then we'll work on the next one let's save this one over the striker we name that to uh, tips one of my favorite builds in the game actually and that's because I love using the TAC-50. I really like that weapon in this game. And the, when you run the Golden Bullet, the Golden Bullet event allows you to uh, use the TAC-50 full time. So when Golden Bullet comes on, I almost only want to run the TAC-50. All the other builds, I'm like, oh, all right, they're cool. They're cool. But the ta full time TAC-50, I really like that build. okay so that was our tip so now uh we got a couple different ones we can roll let's do the eclipse yup the eclipse so i've uh made versions of this in the past a long time ago i actually made it originally for um where are my gloves did i forget to grab the gloves I uh, made it originally for the like the reanimated event and then tested it outside of it and realized it was strong enough to not have to run it for that event only. Um, let's see if I have the right pieces though. So there's one. I normally would run the, actually the Eclipse chest piece with this, but for some reason I must have deleted it. I don't know. Still this one i think we don't need to run as much armor because we're gonna we're basically gonna power up the riot foam so the riot foam becomes our armor in a way yeah i've tried that the doctor 47 i've tried that i've tried that and i actually had a few really successful um attempts with it you know we getting them at the spawn and whipping out that flamethrower and burning them but I'd also found like if you accidentally run out, it's really hard to get that special ammo again. You're kind of like stuck with no ammo. But yeah, some people have fun with that and also the uh, whipping out the minigun, huh? I must have forgot to grab that. Okay, so we're missing the glove and the holster, I think. It's weird. Yeah, so we need both of those. I looked for the chest and I didn't have it. We could run a skill tier, that's okay, but. Um, I hope I didn't accidentally delete them and not have them. I can craft though if I need to. Huh. Okay, let's go pick them up.
No, they didn't. Shivero Danger. We're just working around the bugs. If you don't take the game uh, cursor outside of the the Washington DC map, then then for me it doesn't glitch. Uh, so as long as I'm playing inside Washington DC, everything seems to be okay. So basically the only thing that's happening for me is I just can't reset my control points. So looks like we'll be doing a lot of legendaries this weekend. Okay, so we're looking for Eclipse. Interesting that, okay, there it is. So I just didn't grab them. Okay, so there's the gloves. And then we need the holster. And there's a the holster. So I just forgot to grab them, all right. Well, all right. So this one might be a little bit different. We might uh, reproportion this one because the riot foam is our defense. And so we're gonna be using it a little bit more. So we're gonna get, we might not need as much armor or bonus armor because of the riot foam. So we'll see. I'll stick with sharpshooter for now and we'll use it to kick off the engagement and then we'll run in with our pistols, basically how we'll do it. All right. This one's actually really fun, really fun build, very unique. As Eclipse would be, as you can imagine. So let's see, take that one and then that one and so the bulwark shield will be the all the armor you need right so that's and then the riot foam keeps them from getting behind you so that's sort of how we're going to play into our defense let me Making a few extra slots here. That's fine. Yeah, Whiteout Gaming, I've run a similar build. Let me uh, grab that one for you. Did, uh, this will give you uh, finish your help you finish your thought process. On that build, I've, I've created something like that. Um, let's see, immortal. Try to find this real quick. Keywords. What did I call that video? Hold on a second. Let me just do it manually because it's not showing up with my searches. Yeah, 511 is that can actually be pretty good. I do recommend the gloves, the, the named 511 gloves for the build out because they're going to bring in uh, the armor on kill as well as the income and repair with that. I'm hold on a second peeps. I'm just going to grab this link here in a sec. Pretty cool build. Yeah. And so I was dared to make, there it is. I found it. Okay. Get this link. So I was dared to make a 511 build and it actually came out really cool. Uh, uh, okay, there it is. Check that out. And so 
what are you, what i'm gonna have you look at is that catharsis mask all right so white out there's no way to boost the catharsis mask so that's the only thing that's not going to work for you on an income and repair build but it could still do a really good job but just remember that all that income and repairs is not going to help your catharsis mask and i know that's confusing because the catharsis mask has income and repairs on it <laughs> i get that but yeah you can put on as much repair skills or income and repairs on your build as you want but that mask is always going to heal at the five percent over 10 seconds five percent for 10 seconds that is so it's always five percent armor regen or repairs no brooks all of us are dealing with that and so Bro brooks my work around one work around there's a couple of different ways to do it but i'm just not killing the bosses so you know they stay they stay replayable as a white flags or red flags if you don't kill the first boss so we just play half of it basically um otherwise just go and do like you know dua and play it on heroic or whatever you know just play the missions that's what i was just saying like a lot of legendaries weekend okay so um let's 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 start with a bunch of armor and then we'll see how it goes There we go. Let's leave it there. Let's keep that one red core here. Pretty sure we're going to need it. Uh, and then headshot damage. Yeah, we'll take that one. So headshot damage on our pistol. We're at 200. That's good. And then uh, just under 300. So pretty close to the power. But remember, we're going to be missing that 20% total weapon damage buff that tip of spear gave us so let's see if we can run with this bonus armor but we're gonna get proliferation which is gonna spread that riot foam and so i actually run uh more yellow cores with this build usually so you know um but we could also go more red more yellow and then kind of do a, like a full rainbow red yellow blue mix it up Yeah, that's the chameleon is pretty good with that. The doctor's home would also be cool. Uh, the capacitor, if you go skill tiers, load up more heals. Um, the Scorpio shotgun also, because that'll uh, give you more damage and keep them from shooting at you too. The mop would also be cool. So let's see here. Oh God, I missed all those shots. It's always incredible to me. Just that little bit of wiggle. There you go. You can't be any geek off the street. Got to be handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. So we need to earn some TAC-50 ammo here before we can start using it, so. You can't be any geek off Mario. the street. Got to be handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. So this is one's got a little bit more of a mob protection. See how it spreads the wire foam onto the other guys. So you basically makes you not have to need as much riot foam because of that. 
Really? This guy's annoying. Oh my god. It's that, you know, your, your character uh, flinches when he takes damage. That's some of... So they're shooting the shield and your, your character flinches. Causes some, some misses. It's frustrating. And then they wiggle their heads. Their head wigglers. <laughs> Really, I can't jump over that. I think this will need a little bit more balancing. We'll see here though. We gotta run one more control point. Yeah, a little more income and repairs. I mean, a little more repair skills and income repair is always a good idea. But otherwise, one to one ratio is fine. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I like the double healer builds. I just put one out the other day. You're wearing too much armor. I think that was on Monday. Maybe Friday. Okay, so we're, yeah, we're, we're damage testing now. We need to see if um, we got what it takes here. Really? What the fuck? What the hell? Jesus, that was shitty. Let's go back. Yeah, this uh, this build series requires the bulwark shield because it's only sidearms, only sidearms. Besides attack fifty, of course, when we pull that out. So yeah, bulwark is a must on this one. If you want the crusader shield versions, there's a link at the very top of the chat feed. It's pinned for the new unstoppable AR juggernaut builds, and it's uh, there's four builds there for you to use the crusader or the striker shield, where you can use your primary weapon. Zero. But this is all sidearms today. System back online. So basically what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add one weapon damage core. And then uh, I want to add a skill tier. That's what I was noticing the most is that I needed a skill tier. 
And we could get rid of the TAC-50 too and just go all pistol, but let's start by just adding one of each. Yeah, and we're in a build lab, so these aren't perfected until we get through um, the series, so keep that in mind. And so I'll, I'll usually put the uh, perfected versions. I try to uh, make build videos out of these once we get to where they need to be. We could run Douglas and Harding on this too, actually. Yeah, let's try that. This might be better to go pistol on this one. I can't remember. And then... There we go. So now we're at 1.3, lowered our armor, but picked up a skill tier. And I'm not sure if that's enough skill tiers. That's the question. And now we're at three. So three, two, three, three, two. Let's see if this works. I actually originally played with this one using the uh, Eclipse chest piece because it makes a bigger spread. Yeah, so even without a headhunter, but you're putting out a, just a couple of extra shots, but not, it's really not that big of a deal. Just one, two, three, one, two, three kind of thing. And um, as a matter of fact, if you get them in the little clusters in riot foam, then you're blowing them up. And so it makes the next guy really a one shot kill, even without a headhunter. And that's because you damaged them. But apparently I deleted that chest piece, I guess. <laughs> so we won't be running that one today they're okay the specialization sidearms they're okay i have a hard time using them i was trying the other day or the other month actually i should say i was trying to use them because you know they got perfect optimus and whatever the thing is is that you know for pistol builds You know, being able to chain kill is pretty valuable. See how it's spread on him? And none of those pistols have that capability. There we go. Much better. Much better. Oops. That was a body shot. See that spread to the guy in the back? Yeah, that, that's the right proportion. Now we're better. So the right foam is defense. So the exchanging armor for uh, a skill tier is valuable. And we still got a tier six shield. land that shot though ah oh, fuck that up they were wiggling too much he pulled it off though no that's what happened so actually uh they were wiggling a little bit but the reality is is that i was taking damage to my shield and your body flinches, you know, like it shakes when you're taking that damage to the shield and it does make it harder to land your headshot. So the reality is just shoot first. <laughs> shoot first, shoot first. Be the first to shoot. We still might add even, we still might be able to add even more skill tiers too. So you, you want the TAC-50 ammo, so hopefully we earned a little bit.
but the tack 50 makes it all go faster so basically you tack 50 the first guy and then you're one shot in everything a lot easier that way so let's see if we got some ammo to pull it off also yeah we do now nearby. and it's and they really do even without tip of spear consistently drop tack 50 ammo so you know as long as you use it sparingly you can run out if you keep missing shots and shit like that but See our little headshot meter at the bottom there? So it's full, so everything is gonna go down with one shot. Reinforcements in route. As long as our timer doesn't go out, of course. There it is, see that? All under riot foam. Beautiful. And it's cool because you can hit them with that foam from pretty far out. Unless they fucking duck and roll like that. Yeah, it's actually a really fun build. It really is. Right foam is pretty good. Right, phoned? He's a boss, I'm gonna leave him. And the boss is foamed. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. unique it's just different you know it's not going to be the meta or anything like that but if you like fun unique and effective builds this is it this is a really fun one to run pretty easy you're basically just farming eclipse with headshot damage already on it all right and yes you can run the backpack too the eclipse backpack so but of course we need that survivability and we need the skill tier so that's why we're not the 30 the reality is i have run the backpack okay and i'm gonna advise you now that the memento is better because of the 30 percent skill efficiency that we're getting and also when we grab a fresh trophy we are getting another 10 percent skill efficiency and that's what allows you to not run out of ammo you know four or five rounds is plenty as long as you got that 30 percent skill efficiency so keep that in mind and then the bonus armor of course is adding to our survivability and our shield is at what tier five shield so not as strong as the others but they're when they're right foamed uh as much as you are they're not shooting at your shield and then you got the 30 percent weapon damage and 15 percent weapon damage bonus on kill as well when you grab those trophies and that's stackable otherwise everything's balanced in and feels pretty good this way feels pretty good really cool build so let's go work on the next one <laughs> Actually, let's run through this control point before we do. Just, I, I just like how fun the right foam is because i don't know if you noticed like there were times where like you know where you get they're kind, they're kind of coming at you in a line and then you get that one guy in the right foam you kill him and then everybody in the line gets froze frozen up and so you just kind of like it really does feel john wickish that way so basically whip out your attack 50 first right 
And by doing that, what you're doing is making yourself the strongest version of that headshot you can off of a single kill. So it skips the bullshit, basically. Just one kill with attack 50 maxes your headshot damage from headhunter is what I'm trying to say. Which is why we're running the attack 50. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. Run technician. It's just, you know, it's going to take you one or two kills to get full stacks. Oh, I missed him. Double kill. You gotta play fast, of course. This one can't take as much damage to the back as maybe some of the other ones. Not quite as tanky. <laughs> I love that. And some range on it too with that pistol, right? Oh, as a boss, fuck. We don't want to kill the boss, so. Yeah, so that's what's cool is actually both the riot foam and the uh, pistol have really good range. <laughs> so you could hold them still and then snipe them from afar. Sometimes it just cuts out the bullshit. That's what I'm looking for, really. When they run away like that and then keep running away and you're like two control points over now. Oh, the automatic pistol build? Yeah. Uh, probably not today, but that one's fun. Also, the 93R with... Um, yeah, we got it to work with... Um, what is it called? Heartbreaker. The 93R, I got that to work with the Heartbreaker. In other words, it's fast enough to build stacks on the Heartbreaker. <laughs> So yeah, I think the key with this one really is attack 50. It makes things go smoother. Let's get that one kill with the attack 50 and then everybody's going down a lot faster. I like that play better. All right, let's head back. We can do another one. This, that was uh, Eclipse, drive you mad. That was Eclipse protocol headshot build. It's amazing. So it's basically, it's doing the uh, riot foam spread. So it's freezing everybody. And you, know, and you can kill so fast, it's just like bam, 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 bam. So if you freeze three or four guys, they all go down really fast. And so really it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's sort of like amplifying your riot foam capacity in a way. It's saving you from having, it's making it as if you had a bunch of riot foam canisters. So yeah, this is what this build looks like. Love this build. It's a little bit more balanced out. It's not as tanky because of course, Eclipse Protocol doesn't give you any actual damage. And as I mentioned before, you can run the Eclipse backpack, but you can be missing out on a lot of riot foam. You ended up having to add more um, skill tiers. And remember, it only works to amplify damage off the backpack. Only works if they're under status effects. So if you run out of riot foam, then you're not going to get the amplified damage. And so you end up having to make sure you load up a bunch of skill tiers, which is going to make it harder for you to get that one shot, one kill. So 
it ends up working against you to run the Eclipse Protocol backpack. I've tried. I've tried. So, okay, let's save this one. It's got it nicely balanced there. Let's see. I guess I can... Tips. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go over that one. Rename, and that one is Eclipse. Okay, so this next one we're gonna build from scratch. It's gonna be different. We're gonna get tankier uh, in a different way. Okay, so let me see if I have all my components, hopefully. So I think I run this with, it's been a while since I've done this one, so bear with me here. Um, I think we run chain killer with this one. We'll run the armor. I think I gotta go get a mask. I think I'm, I don't have my mask here. Let me see. We want a punch drunk on this one. We could also go chill out technically. Oh, there's a punch drunk. Nice. And it's allowed me to roll armor. Perfect. And then, um, and go improvise down here. Could also go Picaros, actually. Two piece Picaros could be cool too. Hmm. Let's see what my headshot damage one. I should have a. This one would also work. Let me see what else I got. It's been a while. This one, it's been, I'm, I have poor memory on how I originally built it. So, could try Brazos here. Could also try Emperors. Get the armor regen. I'll take the skill tier. We'll run this with. Wait, was it the knees I had improvised? With the headshot damage? That's what we're looking for. Yeah, it was. Boom. Okay. And then we'll take off the hazard there. And then that leaves uh, the... So it's basically what we're going to be doing is loading on a bunch of protection from elites to go and It's going to make that bonus armor last a long time. A long time. So high armor, high protection from elites. I guess we can do that one, the armor regen. This is several ways you can go with this. It's been a while since I've done it, but um, Actually, I think we'll... We might need to cut back and forth a few times because... Well, at least let me re-roll that to a blue core and see what happens. Because we might want to go Picaros for the skill tier. And, I mean, two-piece Brazos. 
So if we do that, we're going to need maybe a Brazos glove. Yeah, that'll work right there. That was perfect. And then, um, let's go ahead and put that Brazos glove on real quick. Let's turn that into a blue core. Change the mask, blue. There we go. So it's got more weapon damage. And then uh, let's see here on headshot damage. We'll change out the weapon handling, I guess. Got a lot of weapon handling. I don't know if we need it. Um, set a hazard. We could go our more armor regen. Cause we're not gonna have any armor on kill. Um, but we could end up going technician with this one too for the extra skill tier. Could also add skill haste, but the backpack doesn't give so much skill haste, you know? Let's go ahead and put on more armor regen just to boost that just a little bit because we got enough weapon handling, so. All right, then let's load up on some protection from elites. All right, so protection from elites, we're at 52, 52%, so respectable. And then the headshot damage, we are at 186, where before we were at 200, and then 276, we were before close to 300. So, but we picked up the Picaros, so we also got an extra 15% weapon damage from that. So we should have a higher base weapon damage and we're running to, running to Punch Drunk and Walker and Harris. So this in theory should balance back out even though we're missing a little bit of headshot damage. So let's go give it a try. Let's go load up on those mementos. Yeah, that's right, Drive You Mad. I just basically not killing the boss, fighting everything but the boss. See how much right foam we got here. So yeah, so four canisters, so that should be good. Let's just double check, make sure we got that right. Yeah. So we still got ammo, so that's good. Attack 50. Ah, oh, damn fire.
Don't want to hit his hand. Yeah, we need more trophies. To get this to where it needs to be. Or we could take off one armor core if you just want to get there faster too. God damn him. God damn her. Enough of her fucking acrobats. There we go. We got the damage we need now. The boss. We won't kill him. So let's look at the armor protection. Protection from elites here. Bruce, Bruce. Hostile control point detected. Yeah, we'll probably get back into some legendary stuff this weekend. Maybe starting tomorrow and the next day. Friday, Saturday, we'll go legendary. All week we've been doing some heroic, so try to even it out a little bit. Ah, oh, you fucker. I don't know how you're fucking... Oh god, even that wasn't a headshot. His fucking bow. But what up, warrior? It's going good, man. Having fun. I love these uh, little pistol builds we're working on today. I love pistol builds in this game. As you guys know, if you've been following me for a while... Yep. <laughs> Those are the results I would expect. So we'll keep the boss alive. Again. So again, this is loaded up with protection from elites and more armor. So we're full tank on this one. And what I mean is we got the full 1.9 million armor. And so if you want to get there faster, there being like uh, to max headhunter stacks without always relying on your tac 50, you probably just want to lose one armor core. Just drop it down one armor core. Uh, the other thing you could do is um load up put it like a one piece um, um, um 
you could go fox's prayer probably you go fox's prayer instead of running two-piece brazos but let's go let's go try this in this control point again or um mission Yeah, Reaper, I'll probably stream tomorrow night, do a uh, Friday evening stream. Not super late, like probably, maybe we'll kick it off at like, at like three o'clock Pacific time, maybe. And uh, so you're, I think you're central time, right? So maybe that's five something your time. Let's do some legendaries, bro. Drag on if you want in too, man, that'd be cool. All right. So again, we're running full armor, but we you have the option to pull it back just a little bit. So I'm gonna pull up the TAC-50 right away. We got the resistance to take on some damage. Remember that. Oh, real the fuck! God, they still robbed me on that one. Uh oh, how the fuck did you not get fired from? Oh my god. We're going in. I should have blown her up. Did that not kill him? The hell? Is he wearing a helmet, I guess? So yeah, that's the one armor core right there. I mean, uh, if you win one less armor core, you get more out of your build. But how Caster Troy? Oh, yeah, I like your name, Caster Troy. Is that the same? Are you the same Caster Troy from Face Off? Are you that Caster Troy? Or is that coincidence?
really. Then we got protection from elites. So I'm not worried about that big guy back there. He can shoot me all he wants. Well. He's my little bitch. Oh, another one. So now we turned into a tank, right? So now we're like tank slash DPS guy. I mean, look at that shield. Plenty. Once you break his helmet, I mean, he's toast. weapon in my hand. Kill her with the right foam. <laughs> Strongest right foam in the game. Yeah, this one's pretty fun. I mean, it plays out the same as the other one. It basically, it's just a, it's just a little bit more tank, you know. But it's got a good balance, I gotta say, on the right foam side of things too, with the two piece Picaro. So that's what's kind of interesting about it too. Is that it's another way to get more right foam. And as you can see, you got all the power that you want. Doing a good job of spawn killing, too. I mean, look at our armor right here. <laughs> That's insane armor. But yeah, if you get in trouble, then you got that protection from elites. But I'm almost wondering, you know. <laughs> I feel a little too much. I mean, we're not using it because of the bulwark shield. You get that? You know? So sort of a nice to have. What would I put in its place if we weren't doing it? Basically, probably what I would do, to be honest with you, is... I would probably swap out one armor core for a skill tier and just make sure I have extra foam. I think that would make this perfect. Keep everything the same. Keep all the protection from elites. We're obviously killing. Or I'd add one more red core just to make things go a little bit faster. Uh, 
God damn it, I missed it on my right phone. Too much shit in here, you know? But it does allow you to drop your shield a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's, there's some pros. What happens in here? I literally feel like a newbie. I haven't done this mission in so long. I don't play heroic missions anymore. I just don't. Oh, that was lame. But this is cool. It's cool. It's different. That's what I'm saying, you know. When you got lemons, make some lemonade. That's what we do around here. <laughs> Play a mission you haven't played in a while, I guess. They're not getting through here. Don't die, motherfucker. Not a chance. So you don't have to have the regulars too, by the way. So we could change that if you want. I just, obviously it's great for the spawn killing thing. Doubling up on damage. Let's leave him alive for a minute. You bastard. Let's flesh all these guys out. Hit him in the hand. Stop wiggling, dude. I'm gonna switch weapons for those of you that don't have the regulus will be now using the liberty no more explosions stronger shield high base weapon damage and faster rpms bigger mag those are all your trade-offs and of course yeah so the thing heals your shield because obviously we don't always land on the head as you can see and so when we don't and if we do land on the head it'll consume that to heal the shield by three percent per stack so, you know, three, six percent uh, healing from time to time makes a just that much stronger of a shield. Not that we need a very strong shield. What do you do with this guy? You have to blow him up or something? <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. Do we shoot this thing or what? There's no health. Oh, I guess there's a little bit of health bar. He's purple. You see that? He's not a, an elite. He's, an, he's a veteran. Got a purple bar up there. I guess. He's taking health damage. Interesting. 
not armor damage. Now we got diesel. All right. I mean, he doesn't have a mask, but it's still armor damage. I always think that's dumb. I think that you should be able to... If you shoot him in the face, it should be health damage. No, they didn't fix it, May. Although all the missions are still standing. Just play missions. Um, you know, we're just working around the bugs. It's still a big game, man. Still a big game. <laughs> you know? Got to remember that, guys. Lots to do in this game. So if you're... I, I do... And I get it. I'm frustrated. You know, I, I love heroic control points. So it's annoying. But I'm working around it, you know? It's cool. Good stagger, right? Th that's what's good about all of these pistols, by the way. They all stagger. That's exactly what you need. So if you, if you reuse the regulus there, then it would have cleared that all real fast. Drop our shield. We got enough defensive attributes going on for us that we don't really need the shield. There it is. What up, James? Start securing the supplies and the equipment those bastards were hoarding. And now, little Dessa now. The theater settlement will be able to rest a little easier now.
Yeah, so, I mean, I think it's a little, probably too tanky. I mean, literally is. It was like, I mean, we were basically indestructible throughout that whole thing. I guess, you know, I'd probably tone it down a little bit, like I said, by maybe adding one more red core just to uh, uh, make chain killing as consistent as possible. Um, or a skill tier to get more riot foam. Make sure we never run out of riot foam. We hardly ran out of riot foam. Uh, because, you know, we were killing so nicely, things kind of just went smoothly. But so either way, um, what else could we do? We could, um, run, I guess we could also run technician and get the extra skill tier there, but that tac 50 is pretty nice. So that's the downside. Yeah, so I, I guess that being said, probably the best thing to do is just run one more red core. Perhaps. Let's see, do I have a Providence? Like a Providence red would be nice. You could also go foxes and get that damage to targets out of cover. That would also really help. There we go. I mean, that's that's probably the one to run right there. And then what do we have? Um, protection from elites there. What's this one, right? Yeah. That'll probably balance it out nicely. You could, again, you could also do a skill tier. Um, the question is, do you want balance or do you, do you like going all tanky? I don't know, you know? It's nice to feel indest indestructible. <laughs> but I don't think the loss of one red, uh, one blue core is gonna really change much there. What up, Ran? You know what I mean? I think we're going to be just as indestructible. 100 kills on that thing. Actually, how long did it take us to do that? 19 minutes. That's not bad, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Is there any elite convoys? They've been stingy on the elite convoys lately. I'll tell ya. Hey, Ren, basically, no, there's no way to reset uh, control points. It's glitched. Yeah, yeah, it's topic. And basically, the devs broke something fundamental to being able to update the game so they can't fix the error that they have in the game right now until they fix the tool that's required to fix it. <laughs> so we're kind of stuck on hiatus and waiting for, you know, an update. Hopefully they're working around the clock on that. But so your best bet is to just not complete a control point. That's a little bit of workaround that I'm doing right now. Another uh, thing to do is um, group up, you know, uh, basically get a new map by grouping up. If you know how to do that or jumping in somebody else's game and their map. Otherwise, missions, just play missions on Washington, D.C. That's going to be probably my ultimate workaround, just, just doing missions. Which is actually kind of a nice break because uh, I don't do missions. I don't do heroic missions. And so, but this weekend we'll be doing a lot of legendary missions. And then, um, actually, I'm going to go back out of the, the reg Liberty to the Regulus because it's just more fun for me. I like to blow people up. So yeah, I would just say it's a good, good time to get your uh, legendary gameplay practice in. So, we doing more of that. Probably some more solo legendary too on the side.
Yeah, that's right, Reaper. That's exactly right. I mean, you're killing faster. I mean, it's a balancing it out, right? And it is going to be based on your gameplay style, right? Because not everybody can run the same build and kill faster, so to speak, right? Because in the real, what I'm saying is like some people miss more shots or they'll struggle with headshots. And that will change the way the build plays out for them. But yeah, I like it. So I'm going full tank because I know you sometimes it's sort of just like uh, you can too. Like if you're killing everything in one shot, it's kind of funny how it all works, right? Like if you're killing everything in one shot, then you obviously don't need any more damage. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you don't. So it's 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 a weird little pickle to be in, right? God damn it. So what do you do? Well, what you do is you add on other ways, other, other, oh, we don't want to kill him. Other survivability types. And what, what we're talking about is like weapon handling. You know, other than armor, you could put on uh, protect, like protection from elites. You could put on um, skill haze. And for me, I decided like if I were to take off armor, I, and knowing that we're already one shot killing everything, I would I would load on skill tiers. That's what I would load on. Because it's also it's not just it's not for just for the defense, although it's very helpful for defense, but it's also for the convenience. Skill tiers keep them from doing stupid shit. I mean, um, riot foam keeps them from doing stupid shit like. Cartwheels. I hate cartwheels. <laughs> or walking backwards and making you miss every shot, right? Where are these guys? Ah, fuck that up. Nice little armor load there. Yeah, and so uh, that's one reason why I enjoyed these builds is because the riot foam just like cuts out that bullshit, man. I'm just like, it's so frustrating when you got these guys running away from you and doing cartwheels and walking sideways and slowly and for some reason that makes you miss every goddamn shot you know it's like i could deal without that so we just made a small change to the build we just added one red core and that's that's all we changed and that i feel like that's enough to balance it out Yeah, on the knee pads, I put on protection from elites. So that's what we got on the knees still. So we're still running the same protection from elites. So we're at 52% protection from elites. If there was any change to improve the performance in this build that I would make from here, I would have to say it would have to do with the riot foam. So like I said, for the, all the reasons I just explained. So that's all, the only thing I would probably do is be like, yeah, okay, I could lose one more blue core and instead put on another riot foam or status effects or uh, skill haste you know uh you don't really need status effects so you know that's sort of a waste and the memento is going to give you all of the uh, skill haste that you need to so that's sort of a waste so i do feel like a skill tier is probably the better way to go of course you're gonna Ah, you're gonna lose um, an armor core for that exchange. Hold still there for a sec. Ah, oh, 
Fuck that up. I don't know why none of those headshots landed. Don't ask me. That's a protection from elites allows you to do. Drop your shield, use your attack 50. So many elites in this game, it really is an heroic that really is useful. Protection from elites. Oh, come on! <laughs> Pointless though when you keep hitting them in the fucking big fluffy backpack. Big deal. But it's annoying. So the D50, the only variation we didn't really show is the D50 with um, like close and personal. You could also run close and personal to get more uh, weapon damage too. And by doing that, you can run more armor. Of course, you need that first kill to... God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Those guys in their big ass backpacks, you know? Frustrating. the boss alive of course we don't want to kill him we're not killing the boss so i can replay the control point in case you didn't know yeah so i mean we're tanky as tanky can be you know what i mean and we dropped our armor and that's because of that lovely bonus armor kicking in you're chain killing so you know Jeffrey, I mean, you're looking for probably the memento, your pro or the um or bloodsucker. You need some sort of resistance there, right? Because you got the regeneration, but like you're saying, you want armor protection. So try running the memento with protection from elites 
or the memento with um the, i'm sorry or the build with uh bloodsucker backpack talent but l click the link on the new unstoppable ar juggernaut builds that's at the top of the chat jeffrey uh click that link okay and then go to build three build number three study that build that's your build the only thing you're going to probably want to do is if you don't want to go juggernaut is rebalance out your cores because that one's a one uh, maximum armor and if you don't want to run maximum armor then change your cores but check out build three on the video that is pinned to the chat at the top of the chat it's an umber build so anyways yeah so i think we have the, just about the right amount of riot foam and damage on this one so i don't i don't think there's anything to do to change that so I don't think we want to change it. See, where do I save over? I guess we can save over the foundry now, huh? The name, so we'll call that one P F E headshots. Cool. So if you guys have any other headshot build ideas that would go with armor and the bulwark shield, the bulwark shield is part of this sidearm, right? This is all sidearm builds. Then let me know and you know we could look at making them but for now we're gonna call it a night because i gotta get some din din in my belly peace everybody thanks for hanging Zito out